Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? Well, this past month I had quite a huge basket to get through. Actually, it took me longer than that. It took me about two months to get through. And I had a feeling it would take me a while because it was a pretty deep basket. And then there would be often times that I would throw incense because I was just really feeling like there was nothing in my basket that was appealing to me. Most of the time it was bakery scents and when I do a warming basket to prepare it I have to remember to have enough bakery scents in there to offset. I do like fresh floral or fresh scents and then I have my bakery and I kind of divide that up. So like if I warm a bakery then the next time I try to warm something fresh like an evergreen tree or floral or something like that if that makes any sense. Because for me, I just can't warm all bakery and I can't warm all floral. That's just the way I am. So it kind of took me a little bit longer to get through my basket. And I still have like two clams left in here that I was unable to touch. Um, actually, make that three. Three that I was unable to go through. And that's pretty good. So... I'm super excited and I went through quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of add-in stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my add-ins, which were Sensi testers. When I was a Sensi consultant, I acquired a lot of these. And so it's still fun to go back and dig around and find scents. And the ones that I went through are Caramel Sugar Cone. This one, you guys, is so nice. I totally missed the boat on this one. I never have warmed this in bar form and it is so nice. It's definitely that caramely sugar cone smell. I mean, you really get that bakery goodness. Then I went through a tester of Just Keep Swimming. This one, if anybody is familiar with By the Sea by Scentsy, you're really going to like this one. This one is with the Disney collection that is no longer available. And Just Keep Swimming is really, really nice. It is just a nice, nice, nice. I really like this one. A great summertime scent, but... I used it. And then I went through A is for apple. This is just a really bright apple scent and it smells really good. It is a nice sweet apple. Although there is something else in here. I can't quite make out what that is because I don't have the scent notes. And then I went through a tester of sugar rather quickly. I had this one in my camper and I accidentally threw a dish towel over my little mini warmer and I didn't mean to do that and it sucked up all of the <laughs> all of the wax um it smelled really great on the towel um it is a really nice scent sugar is nice um it's just a really nice this would be great as a body spray and I think they say that this one is a dupe for Aqualina's pink sugar I think I don't know. I've never used that, so I don't know. But it is really, really pretty. But it is really light. But how is it that I can make that assumption? <laughs> I mean, it was only on my towel for like a few seconds. Hold on just a minute. I thought it would be really festive to wear these little kitty cat earrings with my Halloween shirt. And um, they're just not staying in my ears. So I'm going to take those out. But um, I was at... I'm getting off subject, but I was at Walmart the other day and I saw this t-shirt and I just said, you know what? I'm going to wear that. So that's what I did. All right. So now moving on, I went through a travel tin of um, Cinnamon Bear and I actually had this one in my truck for about a month and I just opened it up and set it down inside there on the dashboard. There's like a place for your sunglasses and keys and stuff and it was perfect for this. So I just kind of set it right down in there. I didn't have to worry about it tipping over or anything. And it did really smell like cinnamon bears in my pickup truck. It was so nice. And I love cinnamon bears. So that is cinnamon bear. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It's kind of bright right there. And then I went through a couple scent circles. This one I actually had in my pickup for a while too. And it's cranberry garland. I love cranberry garland. Um, Cranberry Garland and me, we are, we are together on this. It is 
uh, pine cones, cranberries. You guys, I like this one. Then I went through a scent circle of honey pear cider. There's a lot of people that really, really like honey pear cider. This one is not so much a favorite of mine. I get all the, the spices. I mean, I know it's a really awesome fall scent, but I don't know what it is about the cider, and I'm hoping it's not the cider because I have quite a few cider scents in my stash still that I need to get through, and I'm like, oh no, but yeah, so I like the pears, I like the honey, I like cider, but for some reason, with everything rolled in together, I am just not a big fan of this. So that is honey, pear, cider. So now I'm going to move on to the wax melts. The first one I'm going to talk about is The Giving Tree by Ella After. And this melt great in the bag. I just couldn't get anything out of it in the warmer. I mean, it was a dud. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, for as far as scent throw, I'm going to give this one about a 3. Um, but scent appeal, I totally love this one. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it an 8. It is so beautiful. It's beautiful in the bag. Um, but it just didn't have any kapow for me. <laughs> so... Yeah, you can definitely get the campfire smoke and the sandalwood and a little bit of vanilla lace. Um, in the giving tree, there's vanilla lace, sandalwood, campfire marshmallow, and a touch of rosemary mint. And this was gifted to me by Miss Cindy last winter. Thank you, Cindy, for the sample. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to try it. Then I went through a brittle bag of from a crafty barista. And this is Tiffany's Kettle Corn, and it's Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Kettle Corn. Um, like I've said before, I'm not sure what's in Cupcakes at Tiffany's or Kettle Corn, but I do get that sweet corn smell. And it does smell like kind of like a spice cake in the background. This one was awesome. This gave me a little bit of throw, about a 7 on throw. And scent appeal, I'm going to give this one about a 7 as well. All right, now moving on to the clams. I like to try new vendors. Um, I love Scentsy, but I also like to try new vendors. And the past year, year and a half, I've been doing just that. And so this first little batch I'm going to talk about is pretty much um, vendor wax. And the first one I'm going to talk about is from the Buffalo Gals Candle Company. It's a soy wax in rose petal gelato. Now this one, this was a powerhouse and probably out of the whole two months that I warmed wax, this one was the strongest. Strength and throw, uh, 10 out of, it was 10 out of 10 from a scale of one to 10, a 10. Scent appeal to me though was about a six. It was a really sharp rose. It almost had kind of a greenery note to it. I don't have scent notes on this one, but I'm just gonna tell you what I smell. I like rose, but this one was a really heavy, heavy-duty rose. I mean, it was like, yeah, really, really strong. This was gifted to me by my daughter, Rachel. And, yeah, I'm interested in trying some of their other scents. If their rose gelato is so strong, I wonder how their others are. I did go on their website, and I will put their website link in uh, the description down below. Check out their website. It's it's a really awesome website. Um, they have one section that is just devoted to the women of the Wild West. And they have names um, of certain bars of wax named after real people. Others they don't. But it's a very awesome website. In fact, some of their um, emblems on their waxes and their candles, you actually see the pictures of Annie Oakley and and all that. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like going on a wax site and then you see a little bit of history. And so I kind of like that. So, and this was made up in Thermopolis, Wyoming. So how fitting is that? Another uh, one I went through, actually I went through two, and this is a vendor wax, Sweet Sage Scents. This was my first time trying Sweet Sage Scents. Say that really fast. I went through Simmons, Cinnamon Cider, Baker's Delight, and Lemon Curd Poppy Cakes. I'm going to go ahead and start with Cinnamon Cider, Baker's Delight. This one was, 
I don't know, maybe it's the cider again. Maybe it's that cider that I'm not, I'm not happy with. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's Cider Lane, Cinnamon Buns, Sugar Cookie, Tres Leche Cake. I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, Danish Butter Cookies. I didn't get a whole lot of bakery out of this one. I got like cider that had gone bad. It almost smelled like I'd better hurry and put that in the refrigerator before it goes sour. That type of, almost kind of like it's going bad. Um, I got the cinnamon. The cinnamon was great and I might have gotten even just a tiny bit of the, tiny bit of the cinnamon bun, but there just wasn't a whole lot of bakery in this one. So I'm kind of disappointed. Definitely not a repurchase. Strength and throw on this one was probably about a seven. Scent appeal for me is going to come down to about probably a three. Another one, as before I talked about, is lemon curd poppy cakes. Now this one reminded me a lot of lemon thyme berry from Scentsy. So if anybody is aware of that scent that Scentsy used to make, you're going to like this one. And the lemon curd is probably what kind of gives it that little bit of reminiscent of lemon thyme berry. Um, lemon curd, it's got lemon curd, buttercream cupcake, toasted marshmallow, and vanilla bean. Um, yes, <laughs> the vanilla and the lemon in there is great. Um, there might be a little bit of toasted marshmallow, but I'm kind of getting like a, I'm getting more lemon, kind of a sweet citrusy lemon, a creamy lemon vibe with this one. I really like this one. I would repurchase that one again. And probably if I ever do another order with Sweet Sage Scents, I'm definitely getting a, another lemon curd poppy cake. I really will like this one. Strength and throw on this one was about a seven. And scent appeal to me was about an eight. All right, now moving on, I went through two of my ambiescence. One rather quickly than the other. I have a French lavender and an apple cinnamon swirl. Now let's talk about the French lavender for just a second. Um, when I first got this and I opened it up, I was like, this doesn't even smell like lavender. Uh, this is going to be interesting. And when I warmed it, it was even worse. It just, it was awful. Scent appeal to me is like, it's not even on the scale. It was bad. <laughs> It was bad. Maybe a one. <laughs> a minus one. Um, it was horrible. This to me smelled like those deodorizers that they put in the porta potties. Yeah, that's that's how bad it was. I don't even want to open this. I mean, I can even kind of smell it without even opening the clam. <laughs> it was just bad, you guys. It was just bad. And um but strength and throw on this one was about an eight. That's usually how it goes. The ones that we don't like that run you out of the house are usually the strongest ones. Um, but this is Ambiescence French Lavender. My opinion is do not buy this one. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> the other one is Apple Cinnamon Swirl. Now this one was just the opposite. I liked Apple Cinnamon Swirl. You guys, this was awesome. This was like apple pie with the crust. You could actually smell that yummy, delicious crust. So yum, yum. I love this one. I would definitely repurchase this one. Strength and throw on this one was about a seven and a half to an eight. Uh, scent appeal was about a nine because I could smell the crust. So definitely a repurchase for me. And then when I was up visiting Barry in North Dakota, he had this or I had this stashed in the camper, and it is Oak and Rye Summer Meadow Odor Eliminator. I think that's what that French lavender was, too. It had, like, the little odor eliminator emblem on there. Yeah, it does. It has that odor eliminator on there, too. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, um... This one I didn't think I was going to like, and that's why I sent it up to Barry and his, so he could keep it in the camper. Because I was thinking, oh, floral, he'll like that. He's he's a floral dude. Um, but when I wormed it, I was like, I'm taking this one back to Idaho. This smells really good. <laughs> 
This is like a fruity floral. And I am not sure what kind of fruit they put in here. I am not sure. Almost like a pear. Maybe even possibly a peach. But I don't have the scent notes for these. Um, but Summer Meadow, it's it's really, really nice. Oak and Rye doesn't have scent notes. So, and I've tried to cross-reference them with Sensationals. And then I'm wondering, are they the same or are they not? So, if anybody has warmed a similar bar of wax to this in Sensationals, let me know in the comments down below. But this is called Summer Meadow. I quite like it. Now, strength and throw on this one, I'm going to give it about an 8. It really threw down some scent in the camper. And scent appeal to me, I'm going to give it about a 7, 7 7.5. Um, it wasn't like, oh, yeah. Um, it was great. But, yeah, I didn't want to throw it out. <laughs> so, good job there. All right. So, now I'm moving on to another bunch of vendor wax. And this is from the Burning Mitten. And I was able to get through all three clams in my melting basket. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Blarney Stoned. Now, I bought this one on name only because I thought the title was kind of cute and catchy. And I bought these around um, St. Patrick's Day last year or this year. Okay. <laughs> the cannabis flower will really totally smack you in the face. I mean, it's like, bam, here I am. Um, you have to like cannabis flower or the smell of cannabis. I'm just putting that out there. To like this, um, really, to me, it was off-putting to me. I didn't like the smell of it. In fact, it's kind of giving me a headache right now. Um, but once it warmed for a couple days, then I was like, okay, I can handle this. Once that cannabis flower kind of left the building, I could actually smell some other scent notes. And they have a combination of eucalyptus and peppermint in here as well. And under that umbrella, they have green fern, violet, gardenia, and cashmere. So there's a whole lot going on with this. And maybe that's why I was able to get through it, you know. I think it is the cashmere that I'm smelling. I do have a bar of cashmere. I have one little cube left. Let me smell This is cashmere from, from Scentsy. Yeah, there is a little bit of cashmere left in this. Um, so maybe that's what helped me navigate through that. But that is Blarney Stoned. Strength and throw on this one was pretty strong, though. I'm going to give it about an 8. Uh, scent appeal, though, for me is about a 5. The other one I went through is Magically Delicious. Now, when you think of Magically Delicious, you think of, oh, this is going to be like a cereal scent. No. This is like a, the first thing I think of is grape syrup. There's a lot of grape in this. And then I think body care. So I think grape syrup and body care combination. Um, and then it says Lucky Charms and Rice Krispie cereal. Sorry, I'm not getting any of that. It's just... Grape syrup, body care lotion of some kind all rolled up into one. I didn't mind it so bad. It was purple. It did have a lot of glitter on it. So if you don't like glitter, this might not be for you. I didn't mind it so bad. Um, I didn't mind this scent. Scent appeal to me, though. I'm going to give it about a six. Strength and throw, I'm going to give it about a seven. Another one that I went through is Lucky Leprechaun. Now, this one out of the whole bunch is probably my favorite scent. Uh, it is green Irish and um, pipe tobacco. And you guys, if you buy anything from Burning Mitten, you've got to try this. This is amazing. I love this combination. This is so nice. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is like the businessman that has it together. Or maybe you go into an old an old 1800s building and where it's just excluded to guys and they're all smoking cigars and pipe tobacco and they're all dressed in fancy suits. That's what I think of when I, when I smell this. And it is beautiful. I love this scent. Definitely a repurchase for me. So my next order to Burning Mitten, this one is going in there and I'm probably gonna get a couple bars of this. 
All right, so moving on, I have one more bag. I went through, I worked on, but I didn't finish. This was one that I threw in and it's from Rose Girls and it's Fizzy Pops, just because I wanted kind of something different. And this is very bright. It's a very effervescent lemon lime soda, straight up. Um, but it's so bright and has so much strength that I had to shut off my warmers at night so that I could sleep because it was not, it's not a calming scent by any means, not for the faint of heart, but I totally, totally enjoy this one during the day. <laughs> and that is Fizzy Pops. And I'm just going to put it back in my melting basket for next month and we'll just try it again. All right, now moving on to Scentsy. Now my Scentsy collection is probably the largest by far of all of the wax that I have together. And I've made the decision over the past couple days to kind of cut down on my purchasing because I don't warm it as fast as I purchase it. And so I'm on a uh, six month no buy of wax. And this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> But I set it to where my club will arrive in March now, and that'll be my next wax purchase. So that means once bring back my bar rolls around, maybe there might be a few bars that I want to throw into the club. But it's going to be March before I pick up any more wax from anybody because I, I counted my bars yesterday and I was like, oh, goodness. Okay, we have to stop now. All right, so here we go. The first one I'm gonna talk about is banana nut bread. And this is in the older clam. I like banana nut bread. Um, some people don't, um, but I really like this one. It really does smell like banana nut bread. It just, you get the bakery and all the goodness spices. The banana flavor, it smells like banana flavoring though, not like true banana. It's almost like you used banana flavoring instead of bananas, and I have said that before. Strength and throw on this one, I'm gonna give it about a seven to an eight, and but it did have some longevity. Um, it did last for three or four days, and I would say scent appeal for me is about a nine. I, I do like this one a lot. Another one that I went through, well, I didn't go through all the way. There's, I still have a couple cubes, and this was one that I threw in because of another one. I threw this one in. This one is Pink Haze. I love Pink Haze. It's in my club, and I am so glad it is in my club. I am Team Pink Haze. I love Pink Haze. It's just awesome. It makes me happy. Um, I think it's got the berries and the marshmallow fondant. I don't think I wrote the scent notes for this one down. And it is just amazing. This just has Kelly's name written all over it. It's soft, it's girly, very feminine. I would like this in a Scentsy Soak or a bath bomb. Yes, please, 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 please. So that is Pink Haze. Strength and throw on this one though, I'm gonna give it about a seven. I did have it in all of my warmers. It's not real strong, so be prepared to know that. Um, um, probably good for a bedroom or a bathroom or a laundry room or something like that. Um, but it, it's great. I totally love it. And scent peel for me is going to be probably about a nine. I just love it. So, um, uh, another YouTuber friend suggested that I mix it with blueberry rush and her name is Shannon. So thank you, Shannon. I did. I tried it. I give it a go, a go with blueberry rush. I put one cube in one cube in my bedroom and blueberry rush just took over. <laughs> it was still strong. But I enjoyed Blueberry Rush. Um, this one to me is like, um, it's blueberries. They say there's blueberries, currants, pomegranate. Um, I think the current, I think there's also cranberries in here. I kind of get a little bit of the current. I think the current kind of gives it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a tartness. I don't know if it's a true blueberry. But it is really nice. It is really strong. Strength and throw on this one is probably about an eight. And scent appeal for me is about an eight as well. I like this one a lot. I just don't know if it's going to stay in my club. 
I still have another bar of this. So that is Blueberry Rush. And also, by the way, this bar is two years old. And it still performed very, very well. Now, I know some waxes um, from other companies, no, they, they can't stand up to this. So that's another reason why I like Scentsy so well. I will pretty much always prefer Scentsy. I'll always be a Scentsy diehard. All right, now we're going to move on to White Sands. White Sands was in my basket. You guys, this one, I love White Sands. And you'll probably see me talk about it in almost every video. <laughs> there she goes, talking about White Sands again. Um, White Sands is really, really good. It's that night blooming jasmine, coconut milk, and rice. To me, it is just beautiful. It is just the most lushy, beautiful scent I have ever smelled. Just, it's awesome. Uh, scent appeal for me is a 10. Strength and throw, though, I'm going to give it about an 8. Maybe a 7. Um, it depends on where you put it. Um, it's a very soft fragrance. It's kind of like Pink Haze. It has that softness about it. So if you really want to get a good sense of how this one smells, warm it in a small area or your bedroom or something like that. Another one that I went through is Cozy Cashmere. This is the first time I've warmed co Cozy Cashmere. And I'm here to tell you I am in love with this scent. This came out with the Cozy Collection last Christmas holiday season. And it came in like a little box, a little house. And um, I actually purchased three, gave one away, and kept two of the houses for myself. And I, I know I told everybody, oh, I'm going to give it away. I never did. <laughs> I kept it. And I'm so glad that I did. This one is really nice. It's just beautiful. And the scent notes on it are sweet blackberries, rich amber, and cashmere musk. It is um, cardigan. We have cozy cardigan. Hold on just a minute. We have cozy cardigan, and I do have that one as a room spray. And then we have cozy cashmere. Cozy cart, they're kind of alike, but yet they're, they're really different too. I think they both have amber in them. But cozy cardigan would be the light sweater. Cozy Cashmere would be the sweater that has the lining in it that's really going to keep you warm. It's it's just a heavier scent. Um, I am in love with this scent. So, scent appeal for me is 10. Yeah. Strength and throw on this one is a 9. You guys, this really threw down some scent. I'm in love with this. All right, another one that I went through is Grapefruit Sunshine. And I like this one. This one reminds me of Smarties Candy. Yeah, Grapefruit Smarties. Oh, it smells so good. It's probably probably one of my top five. Probably my number one grapefruit scent, other than white grapefruit. I like that one. Um, but I really like this one. I still have a couple bars left, and I picked up in a flash sale as well. So, And once this runs out... It's gone. Um, unless I find some on a black market after March. <laughs> yes. Um, but I really, really, really did enjoy this one. Strength and throw on this one was about a seven. But scent appeal to me was about a nine because I love this one so much. And the scent notes are brisk citrus, pink grapefruit, and subtle vanilla. So I don't smell any vanilla. But it was good. And then I went through a bar of Cutie Pie Cupcake. To me, this is like vanilla cake with orange cream frosting. That's what it smells like to me. You can smell the yellow cake. And then you can smell that buttery frosting where they put the orange flavoring in it. And then maybe they put like a little orange twist on top of the cupcake to kind of decorate it up just a little bit more. Yeah, this is good. This one's actually making my stomach rumble. Um, it is sweet clementines and yellow cake batter. So I kind of nailed it on the yellow cake batter. Yeah, it is just awesome. So that is cutie pie cupcake. Strength and throw on this one is about a seven. It's kind of light, but scent appeal to me is about a nine. Then I went through a bar of vanilla bean buttercream. This is just buttercream buttercream delightfulness. 
I do like sugar cookie better. Um, or yeah, is, is it sugar cookie? Yeah. But this one was nice. I kind of used this one as a mixer. Um, I mixed it up with pink haze and it was really, really, really nice. It's kind of light in my house though. So I'm going to give it about a seven as far as strength and throw, but Cinepeel, I'm going to give it about an eight. So that's vanilla bean buttercream. All right, now I've got three more to talk about. I have watermelon patch. Now this one they say smells like fresh watermelon. No, it smells like watermelon candy, like Jolly Ranchers watermelon candy. Um, it is awesome and it is strong. It is strong. I'm gonna give it about an eight as far as strength goes. Um, but scent appeal, scent appeal, I'm gonna give it a 10. I really like this one. It's fruity, it's yummy, it's wonderful. I totally love this one. So that is watermelon patch. Okay, two more to go. Winterberry apple tea. This was a throw in. I warmed, actually I warmed this up in the camper when I was in North Dakota. I only had a couple cubes left and it was really getting yellow. This, this bar of wax is like two years old. Yep, but guess what? It still performed very well. Still did a great job. I actually have the scent notes on the back. It's winterberry closes up to cranberry, apple, and honey. Yeah, it is really, really good. You get kind of the tea notes, you get the apple, you get all that honey berry goodness. It is good. Strength and throw on this one was about an eight. Scent appeal for me is about an eight. Very, very good scent. All right, and then last but not least, I threw this one in this morning because I was just craving something spicy and bakery, and all I had left in my basket was like a fresh floral type, and I, I didn't want that. So I threw in cinnamon roasted pear. Now this was part of a wax trio that came out in during, it was a harvest collection, some sort of harvest trio last fall, so almost exactly a year ago. And it came out, I think, with a huckleberry pie one, huckleberry, some sort of huckleberry pie. And then I think there was a cider, some sort of a cider mix. And I have that one. But this one is cinnamon roasted pear. You guys, this was just nice. I really, really enjoyed this one. I'm enjoying it right now. I do get a, a little hint of pear. I can smell the pears. I can smell the cinnamon. To me, it reminds me although there's not any apples in this, but it kind of reminds me when my mom used to make apple butter. And it kind of reminds me of that, kind of like a homemade apple butter bubbling on the stove. It smells so good. And I think the scent notes are, let's see, I wrote those down. Um, clove, vanilla bean, and cinnamon with um, roasted pear. So that is cinnamon roasted pear. Right now, I've only had it in my warmers for about six hours. Strength and throw on this one, I'm going to give it about a nine. It's, it is really throwing down some scent. I only have one cube of wax there. I think this one has one cube. The one over by the stove has two. But I have vaulted ceilings. It's, it's all open in here, and it's, it's doing a wonderful job. I have one little warmer of it going in the, in the living room as well, so... It is so pretty. It smells so good in my house right now. So that is cinnamon roasted pear. You do have to like cinnamon to like this one. And there is a lot of cinnamon going on, but I like that. I like that scent. So those are my wax empties. Now, if I had to pick a favorite, what would it be? I'm going to pick Cozy Casimir. I, I really like this one. I'm so grateful I still have one more bar left. Um, you guys, it is just beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. If anybody has any co cozy cashmere in their stash, in your wax collection, it's just a nice scent. I'd say try it. It's, it's nice. It's lovely. It's beautiful. I love this one a lot. So thank you for stopping by. And now I can't wait to show you my warming basket. I'm so excited. 
Yes, 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 yes. So that is the video that will be coming up next. Hopefully today I can get that one uploaded too. We'll see. Hey, you guys have a great day.